my name is Sharmila and you can find me um, on Instagram as July Chick Knits and on Ravelry as July Chick. Um, I'm coming to you from Toronto, Ontario. So I've got fresh off the needles my Kalara show. Um, I finished it a couple of days ago and I blocked it. Um, the, this yarn is gobsmacked yarn. I used two gradients and um, the designer of the show is Amba O'Brien. Um, Amba O'Brien is actually running a sale right now on all of her patterns. They're all 30% off. So if you're looking for a, a nice shawl to knit, she's got a plethora of shawls. And um, I think she's got some cardigans uh, too. So um, this shawl is knit from tip to tip and it's got this lovely spine detail running through the center of it. Um, I didn't make any modifications. Um, when I block it, I actually just try to keep the spine straight and then I fan out the rest of the shawl um, on either side. So one side is kind of like a crescent and then the other side is kind of parallel to the spine, kind of. Um, and this is how much I have left. Unfortunately, I don't weigh uh, my yarn. I should start. Um, but this is how much I have left. This gradient was like a dark blue to um, a red. This, and this one was kind of a dark orange to like a yellow in the middle, which I didn't really, I didn't knit that far, but, um, or I didn't, it didn't go that deep into the skein. But what I ended up doing was, um, cause the blue was quite strong throughout the gradient, throughout the skein. Um, and I was worried that um, the colors wouldn't meld together, the reds and the orange wouldn't, we, I wouldn't get there because of the blue. Um, I sh kind of shaved off this much yarn from the skein while I was working and to achieve this, this look. And I think it does still look, the finished product does still look quite gradual, um, which is what I really wanted. So I'm glad I did that actually. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's um, a super light and airy shawl, but it's still warm. And I really like having something around my shoulders. Um, and uh, I think it's a great addition to my shawl wardrobe. <laughs> um, I have jumped on the ranunculus bandwagon. That's what's on my needles now. Um, the Ranunculus is a pattern by Cafe Knit Midori um, and the yarn that I'm using is by Lichen and Lace. This is a Canadian hand dyer based in New Brunswick. Um, and this colorway, it's, it's her marsh mohair, that's what her mohair is called. Uh, it's called pressed flowers and that's how I would describe it actually. There's really no way you can kind of describe this colorway. Um, and I'm stranding it with um, her, um, this is a single ply merino, uh, superwash merino from her line, and it's um, the linen colorway. Um, and I have a confession to make. I've actually never stranded mohair with anything before. This is the first time. I've um, used mohair before. I've made a cowl for a friend, and I've... Um, made mohair mitts many many moons ago and those are were so warm unfortunately i lost those mitts but um so this is the first time i'm actually stranding mohair with uh anything with merino in this case and it is just a completely different tactile dimension to knitting i'm loving it and i'm loving the pattern also it's uh really fun so far um I've done the ribbing. This is the um, the waist yarn that I still have on. I have to take that off. I'm done the ribbing and I'm done the um, front and the back uh, short rows. She calls her German short rows. And I'm just about to start on the yoke. Um, I just have this much of the linen, which obviously I'm not gonna be able to knit the whole sweater in. I'm planning on knitting it in the short sleeve, the short sleeve version of the pattern. And so I will um, fade it with um, this, this is her faded rose colorway. And then this, this was a one of a kind colorway. Um, 
that I got. So this is like a darker rose, you could say. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm looking forward to, um, to getting started on that lace in the front, in the back. And, uh, and you must be wondering why I have so little of this. <laughs> and it's because um, I bought five skeins of lichen and lace at Toronto Knitters Frolic last year. Um, my daughter wanted me to knit her um, a shawl and or a scarf rather. I'll show you that right now. Um, it is the we had decided uh, we looked on Ravelry patterns and we decided on the Second Avenue. The Second Avenue uh, it's a wrap by Amy Miller is the designer and um, it's really a, a lovely um, pattern. It's got um, like a pico edge and rugby stripes and eyelet and some texture um, and some skinny stripes and um, a scallop edge and uh, it's got lots of different colors in it this one calls for five different skeins um, and it's a great stash bust sorry stash busting project actually um, if you've got fingering weight yarn um, and uh, yeah, she, she wears this a lot. We, I decided to knit it as a scarf instead of a wrap because um, um, a, a wrap is not practical for her. Um, so a scarf, she just wraps it around her neck a couple times and she's good to go. So she really loves this. The yarn is really soft, really, really soft. Um, so I used the lichen and lace um, for this first. And then I had yarn left over. Um, so then I decided to knit her because that yarn was intended for her. So I decided to knit her this. This is the So Faded um, Tea by Andrea Maori. Or sorry, So Faded Sweater by Andrea Maori. Um, my daughter uses it as a tea. Uh, so she doesn't wear it in the winter, but she wears it in the fall and the spring. Um, the only modifications I made to this was I did the split hem and uh, I made the back hem longer than the front hem and um, I used three colors. Um, as soon as I split for the sleeves, I did about an inch of ribbing and I cast off. So again, very soft. She wears it against her skin, no complaints. Um, it's a bit stripey for my liking over here, but she doesn't seem to mind it. And uh, yeah, she. this is again a, another um, outfit she wears, or top she wears a lot of. Um, as you can see, my daughter, I knit for her a lot. She's very knit worthy. Um, and uh, yeah, I, um, I, that's why I wanted to use up the rest of that yarn. So. I'm not sure who the ranunculus is intended for yet. Um, it, I guess it depends on the dimensions of it when I'm finished with it. But I can tell you she's eyeing it already. So um, thank you for watching and um, hope you have a great day. Happy knitting. Bye.